Hey guys, I'm Nisha from nishahomi.com. Today I'm sharing pink semia payasam, which is actually milk payasam cooked in pressure cooker. The pressure cooking gives the payasam a pink color and the taste of the payasam makes you think that there is condensed milk in it. The milk will turn light pinkish in color and slightly thicker. To make pink semia payasam in pressure cooker, I'm using a large 7.5 liter pressure cooker. Do not use smaller cooker because the milk might overflow. So into the cooker, I'm adding in one and a half liter whole milk. I'm adding in one cup sugar. I'm using 200 ml measuring cup. And now I'm going to close the cooker and switch on the flame. Once steam starts to come out, I'm going to place the weight. And once the steam starts to come and you start to hear a slight whistle sound, put the flame on the lowest for exactly 30 minutes. Don't allow the steam to come out because the milk will spill out. So once you start hearing this small whistle sound, put the flame on the lowest for 30 minutes exactly. Okay, it's exactly 30 minutes and now I'm going to switch off the flame. As you can see, the milk has spilled little on top of the cooker, but it has not drizzled down. So this is the reason why I'm suggesting you to use a larger cooker. If you use a small cooker, the milk will spill out and drizzle down onto the stove top. So now I'm not going to open this for another 30 minutes. Okay, it's 30 minutes now. Now let's open the cooker. You can see that the milk has turned light pink in color and it is slightly thick. It has a nice caramel flavor too. So now I'm going to switch on the flame and I'm adding in one cup of roasted semia. And just give it a stir. And now I'm going to put the flame on the highest and bring this to a boil and then simmer it for another 5 to 10 minutes so that the semia is nicely cooked. I've been simmering the payasam for about 10 minutes now on low flame and the semia is nicely cooked. The payasam is almost ready. In another small kadai, I'm heating about 1 to 1.5 one teaspoon ghee. Once the ghee is heated, I'm adding in 4 to 5 cardamom lightly crushed, 2 tablespoon of raisins and cashew nuts. Put the flame on low and give it a mix. Once the cashew nuts are lightly browned and the raisins are puffed, remove this from the heat, pour this into the payasam. Give it a mix and switch off the flame. Payasam is ready to serve. The payasam will thicken once it cools down. Now let me serve the payasam to a bowl. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Do try this pink payasam for Onam and let me know how this turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.